All right, everybody, today I wanna to talk to you about this topic of what comes first, the chicken or the egg, and I'm specifically talking to you about do you talk to an architect first or do you talk to a builder first? And, and there's a lot of you out there who are looking to do big projects. You're looking to add on. You're looking to build up. You're looking to build out. You're looking to do a big project. Maybe it's just a kitchen renovation. Maybe it's a finishing your basement. You are being told you need a plan set. You can't bid anything out until you've got a plan set. And I think that's crap. Quite honestly, I, I think there's a lot of lazy contractors out there who are afraid to put themselves on the line, who are afraid to say, here's what I think your project cost is going to be because they're afraid to lose the deal right off the bat. So what they're advising their clients, they're saying you need to go pay an architect $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, whatever it may be to design something first. And then once you get that, then bring it back to me. And guess what their architect's saying? Once we're done, you should get three or four different bids and the best bid wins. Why can't we have a conversation with our clients ahead of time and say, here's what you want to build. I'm doing this for a living. Here's what I think it's going to cost for you. Does that make sense for your budget? So before you go ante up with an architect, why can't we have a legit conversation about what budgets are? Why can't we talk to you about what's potential in the home that you already live in if it's a renovation? This is not possible because X, Y, Z. Maybe it's a framing issue, maybe it's a structural issue, or maybe you didn't realize that if you do that addition, you're actually gonna end up doing a secondary addition, which is called an exterior addition, and that's gonna cost you more than what you have budgeted for. I don't understand why things are com so completely difficult, but right now, I'm getting more plan sets blindly sent to me from clients because they're searching for a budget, and I'm asking them, did you talk to your architect? Who told you it was gonna cost this much? Who led you to believe that? And ultimately, it's just a lot of people who just don't have a clue where their numbers are coming from, but that's what they've saved, that's what they budgeted for. And I think that's the backwards way to do it. And yes, there are firms who offer a design build platform. And we offer a design build platform at SG Home Builders. It's a great way to do it. But why are so many people still getting plan sets without having that sort of a coaching or some sort of a hand-holding when it comes to the overall budget thing? Because when you look at it and you say, this is what my budget is, and here's what I can get for my budget, you may not do the project at all. You may save yourself a lot of time, which ultimately that's not why we're in business for. We wanna build the project for you, whatever, whatever it is you're looking to do. But if you're not taking the time to sit down with someone who's gonna go over the numbers with you before you start investing into a set of blueprints, I think you're potentially wasting a lot of your time and a lot of money that you're gonna put into this for a project you may never do. So before you go down that road, stop, talk to someone. Even if it's not me, talk to someone who's gonna give you legit potential of numbers for your potential project before you start going into it. And my opinion is, because we have such an inflationary market, if you're not updating that budget the entire time you're updating your blueprints, you're gonna to get to the end, you're gonna have a plan set, and you're gonna go, what happened? Why did the cost go up? Why? Because you never took the time to understand what your budget was anyways. Take the time. Make sure you understand it before you put all the glitz and glamour into it and find out you can never really do it.